Bam. Hey, this is Rich from houseburns.com. My brother Dave and I renovate houses, and today we're gonna to show you how to install privacy film on a window. And the product we're using is made by a company called Gila, which is G-I-L-A. And we are Amazon affiliates, so we will put a link in the description below for this exact product. But this is what it's gonna do. So here, let's shut this here. This is a pantry that we are applying this film to and you can see how amazing it is because so over here we haven't put the film yet and you can look in there and you can see our peanut butter and our mess that's in there but over here that has the film and you put it on the inside pane you know that looks like etched glass to me and it's kind of funny because we actually got etched glass in our garage and we had to pay a lot of money for it and if, if I'd known this was going to look this good, I would have just gotten, you know, like regular windows and then I would have done this application to them. Anyway, so um, working with uh, my nephew, Caleb, who is Dave's son, and he is going to actually be executing this job for you. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing because we want to show you how to do a job yourself so you can save a ton of money. All right. So here's all the materials that we're using. This is a... Window application solution, it's also made by the same company, Gila, and it has some kind of like distilled water and a special soap that works perfectly for this job. And I'm telling you, um, you could try to make it on your own, but it's not that expensive. So just get that solution. Then Gila also has this little window film application kit. And so it comes with these tools, which is, uh, well, which is this is a razor. And this is the razor we've been using, but you can see way in the tip there is a very small razor. And then this tool right here is just uh, for, for applying the film and smoothing it out. All right, well, here's where the magic happens. So Caleb is, well, he, he made that little cardboard template first, and it's what, like just a little bit bigger than the window pane? Yeah, it's about a half inch uh, bigger than the window pane on either side. Okay. And uh, I've just been cutting out um, little squares that we will apply to the glass. So it doesn't have to be exact. Uh, we'll straighten it out on the window and trim off all the excess, but. Now you're talking about the pattern of it and you want to make sure that the pattern goes the same way. Yeah, so um, obviously you could either set it up to be um, vertical or horizontal depending on how you want the glass to look. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're cutting this, you got to make sure that you don't start cutting at an angle. Otherwise, when you apply the Gila film cover, it'll be all... Uh, crooked so you got to try your best to line them all up all right so first you've got to remove a little film cover on the back um, it's very difficult to do I've been struggling with this it's probably it was gonna take you the most time out of the whole job okay and uh, just be careful when you're pulling this off you can spray it as you pull it and if you've got a bigger sheet I would recommend that, but since ours are pretty small, I've just been pulling that off and holding it. And I'll take that application spray and spray it down, get it nice and wet, and then spray the uh, window pane that we're using. Now, the easy part. You just try and line it up so the waves are nice and vertical and you can slide it around once it's on there all right so to trim this all up uh, you could use the little knife that they give you or um, a razor blade and a straight edge
And if you have any comments or questions about what Caleb's doing here, just leave them in the comments section below and we will reply to that as soon as we can. Also, if you're getting anything out of this video, if you could hit the like button, that helps out our channel and we appreciate it. Okay, now for the final step. Just kind of want to give yourself like a little bit of spray on the back. Take your squeegee and try your best to get all of the air bubbles and the excess solution out from behind or in between the film and the glass. So I like to go top to bottom, pushes it all out down here and you can just wipe it up. And then off to the side and back to the other side. And you are all set. All right, nicely done. We'll check in with you when the whole project's completed and we'll see how it looks. Bam, the job is finished. Look at it, it looks totally amazing. Caleb did a great job and I don't know, to me it looks like etched glass and the only way I would know it isn't is, you know, you can feel it there and on the inside and realize, oh, okay, it's a film, it's not really etched glass, but the effect is astonishing. And so we would definitely recommend this product. Um, I mean, it, it wasn't too hard for me because I didn't have to do the job, but it seemed like for Caleb, once he got going with it, he was just rolling and it's a little bit time consuming to get it to look this neat, but well worth the effort because this is going to look great for years to come. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching it. Uh, be sure to subscribe and also check out this video.